Hello guys, my name is Matthew and in today's video I'm going to show you how you can integrate Trello with Notion. <clears throat> First of all, we have to create ourselves an account at Trello.com. Uh, if you are familiar how Trello works, uh, you probably got already created, uh, created your workspace boards uh, like I did just to show you how to integrate. Uh, you just basically go to your workspace, to boards and uh, create a new board. You set up it according uh, yourself, like you uh, how you like it and so on. Uh, if you want to make this integration work, we want to press or click on our on our board and we want to go to the top right corner to show menu and go to power apps. In power apps, we have a couple of options that we can add or configure or install into our Trello account. Uh, we are actually looking for Notion. Uh, at the moment, Trello is not supporting Notion, but uh, we can still make this by using Zapier.com. Once we are at Zapier.com, we also need to create ourselves uh, an account. And we want to go to the top left corner and we want to make a zap. We can name our tag by going like Trello to Notion, for example. And now we have to set up our first trigger. Uh, trigger. First trigger uh, will start Trello. As I can see, as you can see, uh, Trello is here, but we can uh, use the search engine just to search for it. We pick Trello. Uh, we have to uh, choose the trigger event. Let's say there's a new member in Trello. We want to press continue. Now we have to use the account that we created a couple of minutes ago, set up a trigger, and this uh, will appear at MS Stone. Uh, it's actually the board that we created just to see uh, just to show you guys how it's done. You press continue and you can test your trigger here, but you don't have to. Uh, it's not mandatory. Second action is on the other side of uh, this integration and it's actually Notion. So let's pick Notion and we also have to choose an event. If a new member comes to Trello, it will update, update data, database, for example. We also want to go with continue. And the last thing that we need to do is just sign into Notion. And that's about it. So thanks for watching and see you on the next video.